Everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> Just testing my audios. All right, we're looking for the blood of Vol. Blood of Tiber. What do you need, friend? I need to speak to oh, what's his name about it. He stands out here, I think. Sup? So, Martin wants you to recover the armor of Tiber Septim. I wish there was another way. The armor is in the shrine of Tiber Septim, in the catacombs beneath the ruins of Sankator, a holy place once. Mm -hmm. But Sankator became evil long ago. No one has returned from the shrine of Tiber Septim for many lifetimes. Well, that's less of a thing for me, because I'm an elf. I do not know. The catacombs of Sankator were sealed by the first Grand Master of the Blade. The four mightiest blades of Tiber Septim's day, Elaine, Valdemar, Relus, and Kaznar, went to Sankator and never returned. Okay. Here, this is the key to Sankator's outer door. I fear I am sending you to your death, but we have no other choice. You must succeed. Uh, okay, cool. Farewell. So, I was going to talk about this. I actually don't fully disagree with saying you have to burn this item. Oh, yeah. I still need to give this to my man Martin. Sir. My research is moving. I won't ask what you went through to obtain this, my friend. I know all too well the depravity of the princes of oblivion. It wasn't that bad. Are you ready to give me the artifact? Remember, the ritual will consume its physical form. It won't be seen again on Tamriel for many years. Um, yeah, like, that wasn't that bad of a quest. Like, I just had to enable some guys who wanted to kill some people to kill those people. Besides, I put no stock in either of those gods. I helped that god in order to blaspheme them further, and I don't care about RK anyway. I'll sleep better once this keepsake of Namira is gone from my possession. A good choice for our purpose, though. I imagine that, um... You should talk to... All right, cool. Good luck, my friend. I imagine that, um... He has unique dialogue for all of those, which is cool. Like, every single Daedric artifact will have a unique dialogue. I've just received word from the Countess of Bruma that an Oblivion Gate has opened up. It seems that the Mythic Dawn are putting their plan to attack Bruma into motion. Uh. Since you've dealt with these gates before, I'd like you to help the Countess's guard. Once they've seen how it's done, they should be able to handle any new gates on their own. Captain Bird is waiting for you outside the Bruma City Gate. He'll show you the Oblivion Gate. Although. All right, cool. You should rendezvous Let's with do Captain that. That's Bird a little more pressing. Have you helped Captain Bird and his men? Close? Dude, you sent me to do it 30 seconds ago. Not even 30 seconds ago. I say that ah. for almost hyperbole, but no, it wasn't that. It wasn't 30 seconds ago. Oh. Ooh, big one. The system of Oblivion Gates is kind of cool. So yeah, I was going to comment on it. I think forcing the player to give something like that up Ah. That's classic role-playing, you know? And for the concept that, like, this game is supposed to be a role-playing game, and you, you know, play a role in it, that's good. I like that. <clears throat> I'm, I'm perfectly content to, you know, have to make those hard choices. My wife has been playing um, Mass Effect recently. Sorcery, here we go. Um, and like one thing about um, Mass Effect is like sometimes you make decisions without knowing the lore. Just like if you didn't, um, I think there's a DLC in Mass Effect 1 involving a species called Batarians. 
But as far as I know, Batarians don't appear outside of that DLC. And if you didn't pick the backstory, you can have a custom backstory for Commander Shepard in Mass Effect. And if you didn't pick the backstory in which Shepard has dealt with Batarians before, you don't know what Batarians are. Um, and I don't think that they appear almost anywhere else. Um. Thanks for coming. Since we had the Hero of Kavach available, I didn't think it made sense to try this on our own the first time. Yeah. We're ready when you are. Just say the word. Let's go. All right. Give me a minute to talk. Are we going to hold All the line right, boys, here? Listen up. We've got to close that gate over there. Nobody likes the idea of going into um, that thing. Yeah, so like, job, for example, you can you can do this do quest it. and have almost no idea of what a Batarian is beforehand. Ends up a smoking pile of rubble like what happened at Kavach. And that's not going to And that's a little here. that's not difficult. Um Cuz like you you have to be Ooh, like Soren, you're with me. The rest of you stay outside and kill cool. anything that comes Is this out the of that whole compliment, by the way? There's like Let's five guys here. One, two, three, four, five. And the captain's robot. six. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are, <laughs> so good. are the rest of them... Like, is it not their shift? Like, is there 18 I in total? That. But they work on, on three shifts, so... Uh, yeah, clamp here. here. Yeah. What's, What's the matter? matter? Get, getting hot! Get yeah. Cool. Um. So yeah, sometimes you'll just so do a couple of things in a um in a Mass Effect where like you just make this choice just because you're like yeah I guess so. Like sometimes it's like I don't even know what the Rachni are. I don't know because that that was what happened to me the first time I played um, Morrowind, Morrowind, Mass Effect. Like I didn't know what the Rachni were. I didn't fully comprehend like what it was. I was partially ignoring and skipping some dialogue. I mud crabs more. It's just one of those things of like, I just kind of am making this choice just because the game says to. And that's a little weak. It's a little weak on the game's part, but on the other hand, it's also my fault of not knowing. And so like, going through Mass Effect with, with my wife... And not, you know, being a fucking ten-year-old playing it. But, like, also getting the... the Lore of, like... Going to the Citadel and looking at that big statue. And being like, oh yeah, this is because of the Rachni Wars. And the Rachni are why the fucking Krogan Genophage exists. And Ow! yada, 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 stuff like that. I've got that one. Knowing all of that, of course, that choice is more impactful. And so I enjoy games having to have you make big story choices like that. But again, like, they work if you know why you're making that choice or what it means or, like, you know, what this actually means. But if you don't, then you, you couldn't possibly know why this is important or why anyone cares. And so you just kind of are making a choice because the game told you to make one. And so, like, making choices like, I'm going to dissolve the Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim, you know, being a sky baby is like, I don't know what the Dark Brotherhood is. This annoying lady was just like, hey, you should join us. You should do what I say because you interfered with this thing that you had no way of knowing about, you know? Because, like, in my specific case, I had never encountered the boy who's actually trying to perform the sacrament. I just encountered a... um a mean lady I didn't like, and I killed her. And then nobody gave a shit about that. They were just like, yeah, did the right thing. <laughs> Can I do some of this? Um, so yeah, saying, like, I'm gonna destroy the Dark Brotherhood because fuck you, I just encountered somebody and I don't like them. You know, that's a completely different thing. 
compared to I know what the Dark Brotherhood is. I've met them in multiple games. You know, I've I've read the books about them. I've I've understood the lore. I know about their their part in the economy and in the politics and in affecting the world. I know how they affect the world and I know how they would affect me. I'm aware of what they offer me. And I still say fuck off. You know, that's totally different. Also saying like You know, fuck the Dark Brotherhood because I'm fully aware of them and I'm fully aware of their, their counterparts, the Morag Tong, and I prefer them much, much more. You know, because I, I don't put stock in the Dark Brotherhood for a lot of reasons, but one of them is because they are, you know, devil-worshipping weirdos and, like, more devil than the Daedra, you know? Like, a, a deeper, bigger, like, supernatural-style, bigger fish. Oh, that guy's dead. Why shouldn't I? I could do with a uh, new helmet anyway. Jamora longsword. Nine damage. What am I swinging around? Eight damage with damage magicka. Yeah, I'll keep rocking with it. Can I try this on? How about I put this, this on with this? It looks all right. No, no shoes, but yeah, there we go. I don't look completely like an asshole, just mostly. <laughs> But yeah, a lot more goes into a lot more goes into saying I'm doing this because of this. Ooh, that looks good. Like that looks good. Heavy Raymond of Valor. This does have enchantments on it. The pants are good. I can drop this, actually. I can get a fresh one. I'll rock with these. Then let me get my... Uh... Oh, no, wait. It's in here. That looks good. <gasps> who, d who did that? Oh, you. Ah! Dup -a -dup. Ah! Oh, yeah, let me swap back. How does this look? Oh, yeah, I could put this robe on, but it covers everything. That's not bad. I know that I could drink this and refill my health, but I want to get the the XP for um grinding resto. Yeah, like, Daedra are, are devils, to be sure. Like, of course they are. I know that. But then Sithis, the guy that um, the Dark Bee worships, is an even bigger devil. Like, a, a higher concept devil. Like, instead of evil, he's nothing. That's a way, way bigger problem. He's the concept of nothing and the, the not as opposed to the something. Like, when people go to God and they say, God, why is there something instead of nothing? Sith, this is the, is the nothing that they're talking about. <laughs> the shield's cool. Come on, though. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dump these. They're cool, but like, eh. I'll wait until I'm like full. This is no place I No, no. Glad you're here. Lead All right, cool. Guessing that it's this big tower. Usually the way it goes. But yeah, um... <clears throat> so yeah, those fuckers in the Dark Brotherhood are worshipping that nothing. And their weird, like, corpse mama who also worshipped the nothing really good. And was, you know, so kindly treated by their ancient elder evil god that like he was like yeah I'll just let you live forever in your you know still aging body until you're a withered withered husk essentially dust with a, some skin wrapped tightly around it what a great reward that could be what oh my endurance he ragdolled me Are you on low health? Okay, you're cool. I imagine that you're plot relevant, so you're probably gonna just be knocked, you know, like, unconscious. Cool. But yeah, compared to that, the Morag Tong aren't even worshipping anyone. They are just doing it for the business sake. They don't even care about the fact that people are doing it for the sake of worshiping. Like, they don't care why why they do it. They're just like, yeah, we're getting paid for it. That's why we're doing it. And somebody's got to do it. And it acts as a deterrent. Like, people are less willing to do dumb shit in Morrowind because what if someone takes enough offense at your dumb shit that you're doing and they say, yeah, let me call a red in on them. And then, like, in broad daylight, you can get got. They'll kill you. They'll kill you dead, for real. Permanently, forever, they'll just kill you. And then, when the guard says, hey, you just murdered that man in broad daylight, everyone saw. <laughs> Great, glad I had those torches on me. They'll be like, yes, you're right. I did murder this man in broad daylight in a way that everyone could see. Not to worry, though, I have a permit. And then they whip out the fucking writ of execution. And they say, oh, you're right. Sorry, sir. Be about your business. Be on your way. I won't stand your way any longer. Have a nice day, you know? And then they go away because it's okay that you killed this man. Somebody asked you to, and they did so through the proper channels. You know? I, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but there's a thing in Discworld where, um... They couldn't stop the Thieves' Guild and the, the Assassin's Guild from operating. They literally couldn't stop it, because how can you stop crime? So instead, they just established oh, new no. rules for these, for these things. Where, you know... Yeah, of course you can be an assassin or a thief. That can You can write that on your taxes. You can say, I'm a thief on your taxes. But you have to do everything in, like, supreme triplicate. Because if there is anything, anything wrong on your forms, we are going to bust your ass super hard. And we're allowed to do that because you agreed to be a thief within the confines of the law. So now you have to deal with that. And what we mean by, you know, in the confines of the law. And that's so smart. As a world building thing, it's fun. It's inventive. It's unique. It's cool. 
it leads to more story things. This is empty now. Well, mostly empty. But this is time to dump a common soul gem on it. I know that I'm not getting that much out of it, but it is useful to have the, the, the mana on the anti-mana stuff for when guys are using mana on me. Yeah, see, because there is stuff that they're using here and there. Yeah, give me all that. Give me all that. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Look out! But yeah, like, it's one of those things where it's like, that's so silly. Why would they just legalize certain crimes? And then they're like, oh, because it fucking works. Just, yeah, you can kill this guy. Did you fill these forms out? And now people are unwilling to do it because that means they have to do paperwork. Like, and so that stops people from doing it in a lot of cases. It's, a, it's another deterrent. Like, you don't want to do stupid shit because, like, if you do stuff that is not illegal but is still annoying... Even if it's perfectly legal, at some point, somebody might eventually be like, fuck you, you're, you're getting busted. I'm going to sick the fucking assassins on you. And you can't say no because that's legal. And you just have to deal, you know? So don't fuck up too bad because you're going to get the assassins sicked on you. And that's your fault, essentially. But what, what if it's not your fault? Well... Maybe they didn't do the stuff right, and then they're going to get busted for it because they're not going through the proper channels. So people aren't going to call it in for nothing because, you know, they're not doing it for nothing. What the problem is now them because they're like, well, hold on. This guy isn't really doing that much of a problem. Now you're going to get me in trouble. This isn't worth it. Neither is this. You're going to get me in trouble because you are calling in writs on people who don't really need it. I could lose my license for this, you know? And, like, that's just a, that's just a thing. Hell yeah. And so it, it then becomes a deterrent for people who are trying to, you know, assassinate people without proper cause and without the proper channels. And well, now they're going to get busted. And so, like, you're not going to be too stupid because you're going to get assassinated if that's the case. But you're also not going to just call in an assassination over nothing because you're going to get in trouble. And, like, the fact that Morrowind... Like, Discworld is a, is a comedy series. Like, it has a lot of serious moments, but there is a lot of comedy in Discworld. There is a lot of, like, jokes in it. And, like, so ultimately... This concept will never be, like, fully, fully uh, taken to an extreme because that wouldn't be as fun. Mesa Burden, huh? All right. Yeah, it's burdening me for sure. Anything I can dump out of here? I could drop the shield. I'm about to go grab a fresh one. Yeah. Apprentice novice. Word. Yeah, the way that it'll just act as a natural deterrent. That's, a, that's such a smart thing.
And again, like... I've got that one. You can't go completely all the way through it in, in Morrowind just because, like... You know, something's gonna happen with this... Quest line. It was an honor to serve with you, sir. Mm -hmm. Now that I've seen how it's done. Cool. Thank you. Let me go hawk some stuff. Castle Bruma. What's this episode going to be called? Like Bruma Gate, I guess. That makes sense. <laughs> What if I call it hashtag Broomagate? That'd be silly. Greetings. I'm sure all I'm Sorotan. Oh yeah, am I getting a rep May bonus I now? Interest you in some of my fine wares. I don't actually want to use this, but it's a lot of money. I'm not using arrows. You got a great these are fine, but I'm not wearing clothes. I can sell one of these. I've got one on. This isn't anything. This isn't anything. I don't really need this. That's more than I'd usually pay. Um. Hmm. I can hawk these. I don't really need these. I can just wait out a restore thing. <sighs> Crap. I think I drank too much coffee. I'm being I'm feeling a little anxious. It's almost certainly nothing, but like But what if it is though? You know, every time. Take this. Alright, cool. Thank you. I'm now well above the ten Ks, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Oops, I didn't mean to eat that. I wanted to put it into a thing. Oh, but I can't. Let's get rid of a few more of those, huh? Oh, yeah, I needed to buy a shield. I heard that you Let me take a look at Hey, can you fix these up for me too? I'm only doing those because Armor, they're enchanted. Weapons. I have it all. How may I help you? Uh, what is this? Is this a shirt? I think it's a shirt. Good day. I'm Olfen. Perhaps you need. I wouldn't make come back. Let's just try it on. That's the dwarven armor, huh? Take care. Nah. I hope I can. I interest you in I, some uh, of my I'll wares. I'll take a shield, sir. No shields? Any shields? Steel shield? Thank you. Alright. A lot of good work that a shield can do for you. Take care. Cool. Where am I level sitting? Progress to next level. Cool. Blade, alchemy. I could try to grind out some potions. I can do that off camera, though. Um. So that's a hashtag Broomagate done, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying. I hope you enjoyed it, at least. Uh, but I'll see you next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. I hope you had a good time. See you next time. Bye.